New Braunfels, Texas was recently named one of Money Magazine's best places to live in all of America. For me, I grew up 15 minutes down the road, and that doesn't surprise me at all. New Braunfels used to be in this tiny, tiny little town, you know, 40, 50,000 people, where you really felt the small town vibe, and it's kind of gotten away from that. It is for good reason, too. New Braunfels is an amazing city with a lot of things going on, but the question remains, why exactly is everybody moving to New Braunfels, Texas? Stick around and you'll find out. Howdy guys, this is Michael McCall, your real estate agent here in San Antonio, Texas and of course New Braunfels, Texas. And today we're going to talk about exactly why everybody is moving to New Braunfels, Texas. And we're going to go into nine specific points about it. It's going to be very in-depth. But before we get into that, guys, do not forget, if you need anything, if you want to know anything and everything about living in San Antonio, Texas, or the surrounding suburbs like New Braunfels or, say, Bernie, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that little bell so you're always notified whenever I post new videos here. And on this video, too, hit that like button and comment and let me know what you think about this video. I enjoy the feedback. I really enjoy seeing the comments and the conversations going back and forth between you guys. So definitely do that below and then also of course guys if you have any plans at all to move here in the near future if you're interested in knowing anything more about san antonio or new braunfels reach out to me guys i absolutely love getting those phone calls emails text messages every single day from people just like you who are looking to move here and really get to know and fall in love with the great city of san antonio and new braunfels texas so without further ado let's get started on exactly why everyone is moving to new braunfels texas so the first and probably one of the biggest reasons is that New Braunfels has a very big tourism industry. New Braunfels has Schlitterbahn, which is known all over the world as one of the best water parks in the world. We also have the Comal and Guadalupe Rivers. We have the tubing on the rivers that is a big draw for, for tourists from all over the country. And we also have green. We also have uh, all kinds of other stuff like the snake farm. And we have uh, the downtown area, which is really, really great. So overall, New Braunfels is just a very popular city for people to visit. And from what I have experienced personally, talking to people that have moved here, they visited here first and then they decided that they absolutely love this town and they were going to move here. It's a great location, so it's a, it's a good spot for that. And just overall, as, as people are coming here and just traveling, I mean, for me personally, I can tell you, I mean, and it's actually not just, you know, from all over the country too. It's not just people coming in from out of other states visiting. It's people from local areas that are wanting to live in New Braunfels because they come to New Braunfels for anything anyways. I can tell you from my personal experience, I grew up just 15 minutes south of New Braunfels and we came to New Braunfels for literally everything. If we wanted to go out to eat, we came to one of the restaurants at Creekside here. We would go to Green. We would go downtown to some of the restaurants there if and whenever i was growing up if whenever i was younger we had season passes to slitterbond so we would come to slitterbond whenever i was in middle school high school we came and tube the river constantly and especially whenever we got in high school and got my driver's license we'd always come here and float the river with our friends so that was a big draw for us and it's the same for a lot of people around here and even in san antonio you know like san marcus seguin even up north kind of towards canyon lake people that have been you know, within driving distance, a day's drive from New Braunfels want to be closer and be in the town of New Braunfels. So that, that is really a big draw. Second reason I think everybody's moving here is that Austin has really become a uh, an affordability nightmare, right? So Austin's housing prices have gone just through the roof and Austin is really becoming a huge city extremely fast. Traffic is just a nightmare. Not that traffic in New Braunfels is great by any means, but it is loads better than Austin. I can definitely tell you that. New Braunfels gives people a place that's close to some of these big cities. It's right smack dab in the middle of San Antonio and Austin. It's a little closer to San Antonio, but it's right on I-35. So you can live in New Braunfels and you can commute to these big cities if you're willing to commute a little bit farther to have your family have a, a really great place to, to live and to grow up. And not only that, New Braunfels does have a quite positive quite a positive employment outlook for the coming coming future there's expected to be a 17 percent rise in employment by 2025 we're in 2021 right now so that's just a few few short years from now number three is that new braunfels has a ton of very family-centered communities of all walks of life right family-centered communities you know just church groups uh with within the schools the, the new braunfels area has extremely highly rated schools between comal isd and new braunfels isd there's a lot of stuff for kids to do here. I already mentioned Schlitterbahn once. Schlitterbahn is huge. I mean, you go there and there's just kids everywhere. 
it's great because it's got the lazy river and it's got kiddie pools. I mean, it, and kids from all ages go there all the time. You also have the Children's Museum. You have the Tube Shoot, and then Lambda Park in general is really great. There's spring-fed pools over there, which are a lot of fun. There's also uh, the, the summer camps, the various summer camps options that you have between the, the church camps and also the T-Bar-M summer camps. Provide a lot of opportunities for families and kids of all ages to have fun and enjoy themselves all year round. Fourth reason, and kind of another one that I already sort of mentioned, is that the location is just absolutely outstanding. It's right smack dab in the middle of Austin and San Antonio for commuting, but not only that, it's right on the edge of that beautiful Texas Hill Country. It is just a short day's drive up north towards to get to Canyon Lake and then also get to Fredericksburg Wine Country and go up there. You can go up there and stay for the weekend. We do that fairly frequently, at least once or twice every couple of years. And uh, you also have a very quick drive down to the coast. It's just two to three hour drive to get to the, to the Texas Gulf Coast. You can go stay in Port Aransas, Rockport, uh, great fishing down there. And then there's also some pretty good beaches for Texas anyways. It's not Florida beaches by any means. So don't get, get me confused with that saying that this is pristine white sand beaches, but it's still a lot of fun. We go there at least a couple times a year with our family. Not only that, so with being close to San Antonio and Austin is great for commuting for your jobs, it's also great because you have two international airports in both locations and you can check to see which one has uh, the better rates for your travel destinations. We go to Austin quite frequently actually for our flights just because of the fact that it is cheaper a lot of times than San Antonio International Airport. Also another big reason for this prime Central Texas location is that you can live here, you can commute, work in San Antonio or Austin, you have plenty of job options here, but if you have family, say, down in the valley, down South Texas, out in West Texas, North Texas, East Texas, we're prime smack dab in the middle. So if you have family on both sides, you want to be in the middle, so you're easy access to both both directions, then it's a great spot for that. We're, you know, two, three hours drive from Houston. We're probably a, you know, four-ish to five hour drive from Dallas-Fort Worth area. And then West Texas, you know, it's a little bit of a drive out there too, but you get to drive out and see some beautiful Texas Hill Country. Number five is that New Braunfels, for being a small town, relatively small town, is they have a really good nightlife. Yeah. New Braunfels downtown is really great. I mean, it's a it's a classic downtown, classic Texas downtown. It's got the Circle Drive with the big pavilion in the middle, the, the classic Texas courthouse, and you have quite a few bars and restaurants right there along that main, main strip that goes down New, uh, downtown New Braunfels. You also have Green. Green always gets all the hype, but do not let downtown New Braunfels pass you by. You have a poor house down there, uh, Moonshine and Ale is a lot of fun, the piano bar, and then, uh, you know, obviously Green has quite a few options as far as bars and restaurants too. Definitely good music option as well, live music for local live music, and then you also have some of the bigger artists that come to, like Green Hall, for instance. The sixth reason is that New Braunfels has a really great food scene. Like I mentioned earlier, we would always come to New Braunfels when we would go out to eat. We would drive 30, 45 minutes, wait another 30, 45 minutes just to eat at some of these restaurants. You all obviously have Green. You have the Green River Grill and Grist Mill, which are two of the best in the entire San Antonio area. Then you also have quite a bit of options as far as seafood goes. My two favorites are personally McAdoo's and the Oyster Bar. McAdoo's being a uh, you know, more higher end place, but outstanding food. You also have quite a few dessert options. The two biggest ones for me personally are Naglin's and Two Tarts. Biased on Two Tarts, Two Tarts actually did my wedding cake for, for my wedding, which, come to think of it, was actually uh, the venue for the reception was actually right across the street from Two Tarts in downtown New Braunfels. It's not there anymore, but just to give you an idea, there's lots of stuff like that going on. You also have some classic Texas barbecue with Coopers and Blacks that are right across the street from each other. And then you also have the Mexican food. Cannot pass by the Mexican food. Uh, there's several really good restaurants in New Braunfels. Some of the most popular, um, and then a couple of my favorites are Adobe, Adobe Verde, which those are two different restaurants. Adobe Verde is actually in green, hence the Verde part of it. And you also have Los Gallos, and then one of the more popular ones uh, that I personally go to quite a bit is Herbert's. Number seven, get your leader hosing on, y'all. New Braunfels is rich with German culture. It is no question by far the most prominent cultural scene in New Braunfels. New Braunfels was settled by German settlers way, way back in the 1800s, and it has remained one of the most prominent uh, features of New Braunfels. The architecture around New Braunfels from Schlitterbahn, which is German, 
uh, the architecture around there, uh, downtown architecture, some of the houses, and then you also have, of course, the classic Worst Fest. Worst Fest brings hundreds of thousands of people to New Braunfels every single year. It is a huge party with a lot of beer, a lot of sausage, and it is one thing that you, even if you don't drink, you just have to go just to experience it. Everybody dresses up. It's, it's just a lot of fun to get out there and just let loose, enjoy yourself, and see everything that this German culture of New Braunfels has to offer. Number eight is that New Braunfels has an extremely good outdoor lifestyle, whether it's uh, bike lanes on the roads, uh, you have plenty of bike trails and walking trails in the park, such as Landa Park, you have kayaking options at Landa Park, there's golfing in a couple different places, Landa Park and the Bandit being just a few of the main ones. You can also boat, uh, there's plenty of public, public boating options. Lake Dunlap was uh, the one that's closest in the town, but recently the dam broke on that, so they're fixing that. And then once that's refilled, then I'm sure it'll be just as popular as it was before. Has plenty of public bo boating access. But for the time being, you can take a short drive up north to Canyon Lake. A lot of access up there. There's several beaches up there that you can go enjoy if you don't have a boat. And there's also lots of good fishing up at Canyon Lake and on the Guadalupe River. Between New Braunfels and Canyon Lake on that Guadalupe River, they actually stock it with rainbow trout. I love fishing personally. I fish for those rainbow trout. I try to go at least once a year. It's it's a lot of fun. You can take fly fishing guides and learn how to fly fish, or you can take your spinning rod out there and just catch, you know, catch some trout or you know if you're not into trout you can catch the bass or the perch or if you go to canyon lake there's big stripers and catfish too and the last reason that a lot of people are still moving to new braunfels is also kind of a negative of new braunfels in a way but it is one of the reasons that a lot of people are moving here so the housing prices so the housing prices in new braunfels because of this influx of people over the last year has gone through the roof this time last year the median price was about 265,000. as of right now it is around 321,000. So that is a huge jump in a year. Compared to San Antonio, it's high. So San Antonio's median price, if, I, if you've seen one of my recent videos, it's around 280,000 right now. But it is not even close to touching what Austin's is. And that's why a lot of people are moving down this direction to get away from Austin and the insanity of the Austin housing market. Austin is at a $465,000 median price compared to 321 roughly for New Braunfels and 280 for San Antonio, that is what is really driving a lot of the growth of this area. Now, even if 321,000 is out of your price range, do not be discouraged. There are still plenty of options under 300,000 here in New Braunfels. Those are definitely much more popular, so you need a, a good agent like myself to help you combat those multiple offer situations and put you in a really good position with your offer. And I'll coach you guys through that whenever we get to that point. For the meantime, New Braunfels is still very affordable when it comes to comparing to Austin and compared to a lot of the other big and popular states out on the West Coast and the East Coast. Guys, that is the top nine reasons and the, the reasons exactly why New Braunfels is just exploding right now, why everybody is moving here. And there's no question that New Braunfels is a great place to live. New Braunfels is one of those places that I will always come to uh, to enjoy myself, to go visit Green, to go downtown New Braunfels, go out to eat. Atlanta Park, Slurbont, all those things are always going to be a big part of my life. I'm never going to leave this area. My family, my entire family is here, and I can tell you firsthand that New Braunfels is well worth moving to if you are on the fence. Now, if you guys have any questions about New Braunfels or San Antonio, like I mentioned, reach out to me. I love getting those text messages, phone calls, emails from you guys. The information is here. You can always reach out and just if you, even if you just have questions, if you're not planning to move here, if you just have some questions about the area, let me know. And of course, guys, if you stuck around to the end of the video now, you definitely, definitely have to subscribe and hit that little bell so that you're always notified whenever I post new videos about San Antonio, New Braunfels, or any of the surrounding areas around here. It is not all about real estate, even though I'm a real estate agent. This is all about this area to help you guys that are looking to move here make the right decision for yourself and your family. Now, guys, Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video.